Hey guys, so here we are with uh, some more of the art. And as you can see, I'm dyed festive colors, perfect red and white for the holidays. So by the way, happy Merry Christmas or early Merry Christmas or Hanukkah, you know, whatever you celebrate or if you don't celebrate at all, just have a happy holiday. Hope you guys all enjoy your breaks from school, work, and maybe this is even your way of getting away from the family, you know, once in a while, I don't know. You know, everybody does different things for the holidays, but uh, as you can see, I'm painted, and my perfect baby spinos, yes, after breeding about 200 times, my spinos, um, the three that I originally had finally produced perfect offsprings with the best stats from all my parents. There's, oh, got a little bit of lag. There's four parents in here. <clears throat> I, um, sorry, so it's a little issue. Uh, I bred these two, got this baby, bred him with her. And I got triplets from one of the eggs. One male, two females. The two females are the red with white, and the male is the white with red. And I thought that I would just paint them up. Oh, you got a little bald spot on your nose. I'll have to fix that later. Um, but they're painted up for the holidays, and um, the paint, I noticed, is still a bit glitchy on the dinosaurs. It's kind of good to use the pre-made templates and stuff on it if you can. But I said, what the hell, why not? Let's just do it ourselves. So anyways, yeah, perfect dinos, or perfect... Perfect dino spinos. Spino dinos. Uh, I'm very, very pleased with how they came out. We've got Perry, Terrence, and Kale. Kale after uh, one of the heroes from League. <laughs> and then my gigas are all festive with their cute little Santa hats as well. But, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm getting into the holiday spirit. I'm happy. And I'm, I mean, you, you don't even understand how lucky I was to get this triplets. Two females, one male. I mean, you can't get, you can't, you can't get luckier than that. That was awesome. So, um, anyways. I think we should get into the new patch content. So, as you know, Winter Wonderland came out today with patch uh, 253.0. And it doesn't look like they've done any hotfixes. I haven't gotten one of those, like, little hotfix updates yet. So, it is possible it just hasn't started download yet or whatever. I don't know. Usually it makes me update first. Sometimes it doesn't. So, I don't know. You know, update is a little buggy. But, um, uh, the Winter Wonderland, I, I haven't noticed much of a change. It's still just kind of raptor claws, and it's adorable, and I love the I love the arc theme song in the Christmas style. It's so fun to listen to. And what are you doing in here? That's what you get, ho. Um, but I love the Christmas theme song, so. And on top of that, they sent out a bunch of new dinos. And two new underwater caves with artifacts. Now, I can't remember the artifact names for these particular caves. We'll find them as we go through them, because yes, I am going to go through them. I looked up the coordinates, and that's something that we are going to do in this episode. Now, I can't record too long tonight. I'm going to try and get this done as quick as I can, so if I seem a little hyper, please don't hold it against me. i got to get up early and take my cat to the vets tomorrow. Um, she just got to get us to catch up on her shots. Yes, I do love my animals, and I take really good care of them. <clears throat> but I really wanted to get a video out while this stuff was new, so I was like, eh, why not? Let's do it. Let's have a little fun. So, um... This guy right here is the first of the new dinos. This is the Therizinosaurus, the one we've been waiting for, and I think he is cool looking. Well, actually, oh yeah, it is a he. Okay, good. Sorry about that. You don't want to mess up the gender. Um, but yeah, it's cool looking. And there's a lot of colors for these guys, and most of them are pretty ugly shades of brown, but this guy's gray, white, and green, and then he's got like cute little bronze booties and hands, and I like it, and he's, and he's, he's cool looking, and I like him. Um, now, the dossier says that this guy is really slow. He doesn't feel that slow to me for his size. I imagine if you pump him a couple times, he'll probably be pretty well off. I mean, obviously he ain't no raptor, but, you know, I, I don't know. I don't think he's bad. Um, I have not actually checked to see what type of attacks he has, so we're going to do this together. Let's uh, check left click first. Okay, typical slash. What? He's doing a little finger dangle. What is he doing? Look at that. I have no idea what he's doing. Does that like harvest things? Let me go up to some plants and see what that does. Oh! Right click is a harvest. Oh wow. Oh my. Holy crap, look at that fiber. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, yeah, so this guy's a gatherer. Not bad. And he looks freaking awesome. Now does C do anything? Okay, so he's got a little bite. He's got a little nippy neck. And this is a low level one. It's level... Oh my god, did you see that? Did you see his little spirit fingers he did? I 
love that. That's so cute. Okay, that is awesome. Out of all the level up animations, I think this guy in the RGs is my favorite. I mean, a dinosaur that does spirit fingers when it levels up. Okay, that's pretty cool. You, you guys can't. You can't deny it. That's pretty cool. Um, so he... He... I feel like his stats go up pretty well for each pump, despite the fact that he's a low level. Um, now, remember, I am pre-nerf stats on this, uh, on this server. So, things are gonna pump, you know, way higher than usual. But I'm just saying the amount per pump, you know, in comparison to what the max stats can be. Um, you can see I've only gotten a couple levels on him, not very much, like three levels. And he was at like 2k health, so not bad, not bad pumps at all. I mean, you saw he got like 500 there, so <clears throat> that's really not that bad. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, my throat, I'm still getting over that cold, man. Those things hold on, like, you think you're better and then it's like, bam, just kicks you in the butt again. So, um... Now, these guys, I'm gonna come out and say this, okay? Don't hate me. I know, I'm an awful cheater. I'm a horrible person. I, I shouldn't play video games if I'm gonna cheat. But, I did spawn these in, and I did do tame them after experimenting, because I wanted to show them to you guys, and there's not a lot of information on the wiki right now, and especially when I started to look at these guys, there was nothing. Nobody had anything yet except a couple little hints and stuff in the forums, and I wanted to experiment. I wanted to see if I could figure stuff out on my own. So... I am so sorry. My throat is like, <laughs> it's still got the itchies, you know? Um, so this guy, I have tried every kibble on him. I don't, the only kibble I don't have naturally is Caprasuchus. And I spawned that in and tried it and it did nothing. His taming bar was such a sliver, such a small sliver. You, you couldn't even see it, basically. It was, it was not, it was non-existent. Um, so definitely not Caprasuchus. Uh, people on the forums were saying that it's something vague and... and Hard to find, figure out, whatever. You know, it's it's not going to be obvious. Someone was saying Savo Root works pretty decent on him. So, I don't know. I guess we can give that a shot. Um, if I find one out in the open, you know, just test it out. But that that's the only thing I didn't try were veggies. But people say that it does work, but it's slow as hell. And these guys have a long tame timer. I think most of the dinos do minus these little guys. Um, but yeah, so I was just experimenting and I... I don't know, guys. I can't help you out with the kibble. And I I waited all day, too. Like, after the update was sent out, I waited all day to see if the wiki got updated. And I just barely checked it. And nobody has any information on this thing yet uh, uploaded. And I'm not seeing anything useful on the forums. Just a bunch of people whining. So, uh, let's move on to the next guy. <clears throat> There's this little dude. See him? He's pretty cute, huh? He's pretty ugly and cute. He's kind of like a pug. You know, they're super ugly and super cute because they're ugly. I love pugs. Pugs are so awesome. <laughs> But, um, this guy, now this guy has a really interesting way of being tamed. His favorite thing at the moment that we know of is vegetables, you know, and then of course your berries and whatever afterwards. Um, I named him Sly Cooper because here's how you tame this guy. Apparently, you have to put the veggies, the fruit, or whatever one of his favorite foods is in the last item of your inventory. And he snatches it from you. He, notice how it says no pickpocketing? You use this guy... To pickpocket and there's fast pickpocketing regular pickpocketing and then you can turn it off completely but what you do is you keep that food there and when this guy's going ham on your booty he'll come up and snatch it from your inventory and voila you have one tamed and if the like apparently the more food you have in the last slot the higher the taming effectiveness on the bar goes or like not the effectiveness but you know the amount so that's pretty cool other than that though these guys really aren't they're not really useful, but I do think he's kind of cute in an ugly way. I mean, look at that little underbite. He's so cute. And then this thing is a pain in the butt. I still haven't figured out how to get this thing to tame correctly. I looked it up, and people were saying that you're supposed to trap them. Like, you're supposed to drop them and trap them in something like where a bunch of dodos are. And I guess that you set the dodos to attack them or whatever. And the fact that you're allowing them to hunt your, your pets or something... And this, this is gonna sound like I'm just pulling this out of my ass, but this is what I was told. Okay, this is what I read on the forums, and this is what I've seen in the videos and stuff, and people were saying that you basically trap them around a bunch of dodos, and you just leave them to kill your dodos. And some people were saying it only works if you put the dodos on aggressive, so that way they attack back. Because I guess you befriend this guy by giving him food to hunt. So, and he's cool looking. I mean, he's just like a little raptor dude see him oh he's so cute now 
scout range recharge time. Now, I'm not exactly sure. Consume level up to improve scouting. I guess, I think it's, it's not this guy, is it? No, this guy's just the pickpocketer. I'm pretty sure it's this one. There's just, when they release a lot of dinos, I get really confused on a lot of them. Just because, I don't know, I'm dumb. <laughs> Anyways, I think this is the one. But he's kind of like an early on improved um, moss chop. So, he's a little easier to tame in the sense that you can get dodos the second you start the game. So, um, I guess if you need a little scouter or something, this guy will take care of it. And I guess he's easier to tame than the dodo. So, that's, I mean, that's pretty cool. I guess you could always lure one into, like, a fence area at a low level. You know, if you don't have an RG to pick it up. And then you can just kind of sneak your way out. You know, maybe you gotta climb up a ladder or something. Have something there. But, uh, yeah. Pretty cool, and I do like the colors. I just think this guy overall is great looking. Now let me see. There we go, get rid of the HUD. So let's get a real good look at them. The eyes just look fantastic on these guys. I think the eyes are, you know, a huge part of it. Eyes add character. You know, well done eyes add life to the animations and stuff, and it's, it's really cool. I'm, I'm just very pleased with the way these guys look. You know what? I should have named him Pugsley. Because he's, he's cute and ugly like a pug. Anyways, uh, I want to get on to the last of the new dinosaurs. Well, the last that you can tame and ride, which is the giant squid. Oh, and before I forget, too, they added in, and I'm going to show you this, uh, how you get it. But they added in, I think I've got them on my quest. If I can access, I'm probably just going to have to write it to access it. Anyways, they've added these in. They're called Shocking Tranquilizer Darts. Now, they're made from the toxins, the, you can see the Cnidaria toxin or however you say it. It's the electric, uh, electrified jellyfish they added in, and they're scary. I'm gonna show you what they do if I can find one up, uh, in my northern base or around it. And, um, you harvest them, and you can harvest them in huge amounts, too. The toxin is not hard to come by. But you, instead of using narcotics, you use this to make tranquilizing darts, and you get these super tranks. Um, they're twice as potent as the standard tranks, and you can see that they spoil in 19 hours and become regular tranquilizer darts. So if you don't want to waste your narcotics, this is a great way to go, especially if you have a, you know, way of killing them underwater. I don't recommend using a dino, they will kill your, kill your dino, and you're gonna see why I don't recommend using a dino. Use, like, a crossbow, honestly. They, they move pretty slow, too. You can, you can just swim away from them, especially if you got swimming gear. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna head up north, and then I will get back to you guys because I want to show you the squid. He's awesome. This is the giant squid and I don't even know how to say its name. It's like Tusotetheus, Terethius or something. It's like, I mean, I can look at the name. I don't know how to say it. It's a crazy name. Um, here, let me erase his name and show you. You can see I named him Nagakiboros. <laughs> I love Alawi in League of Legends, so, um, yeah, I named it after her god. So, uh, let's just change it. Tuso Teuthis. Like, it is the weirdest name ever. So, and this guy is awesome, guys. This is, this is, like, my favorite thing in this, in this patch. Like, this thing is so cool. Check this out. Look at him in all of his glory. Look at that freaking eyeball. Look at the tentacles! Ah, oh, he's so amazing! And look at this, look at, he's got like little spikes on his tentacles. They even gave him a beak. Look at this, oh gosh, bridle goes right through it. That cannot be comfortable. I am so sorry, Squid. I am so sorry that this is what you have to endure to be my pet. Um, oh, I forgot to mention with the other dinos. I'm sorry, I don't know if I made it, oh god, I am dying. I don't know if I made it clear. Wow, it is. It's uh, it's a wee bit cold. Uh, on the other dinos, basically there is no, no kibble yet. Um, the Pegamastix is the little thieving one, and he likes berries and vegetables. And then the other one, obviously, if you tame him by having him kill your dodos, he likes meat. And um, his he's called a, a Trudon, I think is how you say it. So I, I forgot to say what their names were. I only mentioned that there is no stuff. Anyways, I want to get into this guy, but I am like. I, I need to set it to daytime because it's too... The water's too cold up here right now. It's actually killing me. Um, also, I want you to be able to see this guy a little bit better. So, yeah, not the Kiboros. Now, this...
Tain threw me off a little bit at first. There wasn't any information really out on it. I hadn't yet seen Thick Freedom's video on it. I didn't even know he had one. I watched some of his videos and I must have missed it. But um, someone told me to go check it out. And apparently, I was trying all sorts of things. I checked this thing's Torque Port. It's only got 7,000 Torque Port. People on the, on the forums were saying that they're a Torque Port tame. You know, you knock them out, you feed them black pearls. It turns out that they're actually a passive tame. I put 300 of the Super Trinks in it. Well, almost 300. It was about 283. Uh, the super tranks into him and he didn't pass out he didn't even give a shit he didn't even attack me like he just was kind of like meh like, he really just didn't even care that i was there and that's why it threw me off i thought he would be a torpor tame because it in the dossier it says it's highly aggressive so i don't know it, it just was a little weird to me you know uh, but apparently it's a passive tame they take like 12 hours and some crazy ass amount of Black Pearl's like 690 for a 150, and it's just crazy shit. I'm sure we'll, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll narrow in on the exact details once we get a little further in. Remember, this is fresh. Now, I need to show you something with the squid. As you can see, my behemoth gates, I think I've shown you this area before, but my uh, behemoth gates are, in fact, missing. And um, that's because I tried parking him in there, and he glitched out on them. And now I can't stack behemoth gates anymore. It won't let me. So that's an unfortunate thing. Now I gotta show you something with him. He's a bit glitchy with turning and stuff. But, um... <laughs> Do you like Zero? Do you like my Megalodon? He's pretty cool, huh? Or she. Actually, Zero's a girl. Oh, see, look at my health dropping. This is gonna be really hard. I'm gonna have to zoom my way to that cave. Um, this is taking too long. I'm sorry I spent so much time covering the dinos, but... You know, I and a lot of other people do watch videos on ARC to learn how to properly tame these dinos. And I like to be as thorough as I can um, for you guys um, and for, you know, other people who might just be passing by. But let me see if I can get this guy. Uh, there we go. There we go. There you go. Nailed it. All right. Look at how cool he is. Oh, he's amazing. Ah! So, uh, the first thing I want to show you is this. I can squirt out gross ink and hide in it. You can't see me. I'm secret. I'm very secretive. Ooh. And this guy, look at how high he pumps. And they make a special type of oil. Um, it's a type of ink, I guess. And it gets turned into gasoline, so you don't have to mix hide in oil. It just goes straight into it, which is really cool. Oh my god, I'm dying in this water. But I noticed something, and he got stuck because I accidentally right-clicked while in the pens. And he grabbed my Megalodon, because this is what he does, is he can grab things. Come here, you. See? And now I've got him. <laughs> You're mine, shark! <laughs> Your soul is mine! It's just creepy. Like, <laughs> it's so weird. Am I eating my own dino? Oh my god, I am like dying, dying. Okay. Oh my god! Oh god! <laughs> oh god. I'm not very graceful with water. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot that oxygen was a thing. <laughs> wow. Okay, I need to get my health up before going back in. But you can see it grabs dinos, and when it's a wild dino, I guess it drains the blood out of it. It's like literally a vampire squid and it drains the blood out of it and it can regenerate health. So anyways, I think that's pretty much going to cover it for the new dinos. Um, it's already been like, what, 10 minutes or more of recording and I've just been blabbing. But I like to be thorough with the new dinosaurs and, um, you know, just let you know what's up with them. Well, I really want to get to these caves. So um, I'm going to just tell you the coordinates. Well, actually, you know, I'll, I'll do it when I get there so I can show you on the map too. Because um, I, I do think that would probably be best. Alright, so uh, here we are, guys. Uh, I believe that this is the first cave. I think I got the coordinates right. Yeah, 53, 10-ish. Um, so that's the GPS coordinates. Now, I want to show you on the map where that is, just in case you don't have a GPS. You know, it's right in a kelp forest. It's really hard to miss. Um, let's see. Let's get to the top here. Um, I don't know. It's kind of hard to see. There you go. See where I am on the map? I'm just kind of like dingling off on the side there where it says me. So it's, it's, it's a little hard to see. I'm sorry. But, um, yeah. Anyways, got my scuba gear on and I'm ready to go. 
let's do this tank. So this is going to be one of the first caves where they have implemented mounted, um, like mounted dinos into again. Because remember they took out mounted dinos in caves? No flyers or anything unless, you know, changed it in the settings. But this is now a cave designed for you to bring a dinosaur into. This is really cool. Sorry, no flyers in caves, not the dinos in general, but you know flyers. And this is kind of like, we haven't had one where we bring a swimming dinosaur in yet. This is cool. Unfortunately, some of the caves you can't fit any dinos in at all, which, you know, is kind of a bummer. <gasps> Ooh, it's a red drop. Is there any baddies? Uh, do I have, I don't have flippers on me. Crap. Wow. Yeah. I don't have anything better than that. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, can I fire this underwater? No. What? Dang it. These things at low levels are just insane. Wow, this is cool. Mm, I sh you know what? I should have uh, used... <laughs> I should have, like, put my cat in the water, like a saber cat or something, and had this guy carry it because he can grab other dinos. Yeah, I don't need this on anymore, so let's go ahead and... Oh, whoops. I am really having a night, guys. That is a lot of fish meat! Dang! Let's do a little more health. Okay. Now, I don't know... I don't think I'm gonna need the fur, so let's put the flak back on. Yeah, I'll just do that. Bring out my pump action gun. Okay, you stay there. Actually, I'm gonna set him on neutral just in case. Um. Okay, alright, let's explore this cave. It's pretty cool looking so far. Oh, do I have to take him further in? Wow. Okay. There is an area where you're supposed to, like, walk and you can't bring your sea dino. Guess we haven't hit it yet. Ooh, let's go. Further into the cave. Cave of doom. He's having a little bit of a hard time fitting through these corners. See, this is why I brought him, though. It's because he still turns better than the Moza. I really hate the, the Moza's turning. Oh, there's two ways to go. Let's go this way. Interesting. See, I'm like getting stuck on things. It's a little frustrating. It's not too bad though. I think it's just because he's so big. So he keeps like, uh, you know how they get like, uh, water creatures get like stuck if they get too close to the surface. I think that's kind of what's going on. Cause he's just massive. All right, here's the here's the part on foot. It's really pretty. I really like these amber rocks. It's really 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 pretty. Oh wow. Oh hey, check this out. Explorer notes. <laughs> on the squid. Rock on. Rock on. Um, I don't need the GPS anymore, so I'm actually gonna get this out. Because I always seem to need it. Oh, and the artifact's right there. Well, oh, what a letdown. It's, it's seriously just chilling right there? Yeah, right. It's a pretty cave, though. I mean, it'd be kind of cool to have a base in here. Especially because there's, like, so much land and water. So you can actually bring your aquatic dinos into the cave with you. Artifact of the group. Interesting. Is there like anything else to explore? That just goes around to where I came from. Let me see. Let me check over here. Oh, whoops, way too far. Right there. There we go. So you're like, you know, any more chests or anything like that? Whoops. But yeah, this is my first time looking at this cave. I watched um, a video just to see where the entrance was and um, skipped ahead to see if I needed to just bring a like a full water dino in. What is happening here? Are you having troubles, little man? Yeah, I, I don't think that's supposed to happen. 
<laughs> we got a beached salmon. Well, it looks cool. It's cool that you can bring an aquatic dino into, but damn, that was way too short, devs. I mean, that was like, is this supposed to be a challenge? I mean, I literally just kind of, you know, oh, wait. this there's an underwater tunnel there hold on I don't have flippers I don't want to like you know I want to get stuck you know I end up getting killed by something because I'm so slow um I wonder let me see if I can bring Naga somewhere over here it looks like that's just an entrance we can bring them in maybe that little tunnel that we saw back there let's go check it out Cause I'm, I'm actually really curious now. This is a cool looking cave though. I would love to have a base in here. This is just awesome. And these squids just look fantastic. I really like the squid. Oh yeah, right here. It looks like you can just swim them right in. Wow, this would be an excellent base, because you could really get your your uh, aquatic dinos in here and get them, you know, safe behind some serious doors. Some serious door stuff. I'm a little, I'm, uh, a little curious about that little passageway that we saw. I'm going to go see if we can get through that. I'm a little afraid of getting Naga stuck, because I don't want to lose him. He's really, really cool. It's this one right here. We might not even be able to... Yeah. I don't want to get him stuck. I'm not going to push it. I just want to see. You know, maybe there's um, research notes or whatever over here. Dossiers. <gasps> Let's gamma up a little bit. Oh, yep, there is. It's a good thing I came over here. Sweet. New Legion. Um, I decided to seek out volunteers for my next experiment among the island's larger... Okay, that's really hard to read. Um, it's very, very, very fancy cursive. You guys can go ahead and pause it if you want to read that. Anyways, um, that's going to be it for this cave. Wow, that was, uh, that was quite the disappointment. I'm sorry. I was expecting it to be a little more than that. Um, that really didn't make me too happy, I'll be honest. It's cool. It's, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's really cool looking, but it's just kind of like, eh. I was hoping it'd be a little, a little bigger, a little scarier, a little more challenging. Um, fuck. Is he stuck? Oh, there we go. Okay. And see, that's what I'm really scared of is I do not want to get him stuck. Um, I really want to take this off. I hate the goggles. Okay. Well, it looks like I'm going to get him out of here and I'm going to take the long journey to the other side of the map where the second cave is. They're literally on opposite ends of the map across from each other, so. Guys, we're back for just a sec. I forgot I wanted to show you the jellyfish. And, um, as you can see, I just killed a bunch of them and harvested the bio thing. But these things are scary as hell. Watch. Oh god! Oh my god. Oh right, he's on neutral. He took damage and stopped it. But yeah, can you see that? So, um, when that electricity hits you, you can't move. I made the mistake of going after them on a Megalodon, not realizing what they did. And my Megalodon almost died. Uh, that Megalodon named Zero back there, she almost died. And she has quite a bit of health. She's got like 15k, but... She got stuck in a pile of them, and I couldn't kill them fast enough without stabbing her in the process, you know, with the pike. And, um, so yeah, they're pretty scary. But anyways, this is what it looks like. Just a little jellyfish. And you can't access its inventory, but if you saw the death message, it was like the Snardia or something odd like that. I don't even know. It's just a weird name, but yeah. So anyways, that's the jellyfish. I forgot to show you guys that back at my base. Um... So I ran into a big pile of them, you know, just there you saw, and um, so I just thought I'd show it to you guys right there. I was going to show you what happened to an, uh, an icky, if an icky ran into it, and I still might do that after the caves, but um, we'll have to see. Anyways, be right back. Uh, 
All right, guys, here is the second and last underwater cave. We're finally here. God, it took me forever to swim across the map on this guy. There was something else I learned about the squid along the way, and that's it. You can do, like, instant turns by hitting space. So he literally will just do a U-turn if you press space, which is pretty cool. And then check this out. This is the, like, grabbing and eating them. Like, here's a shark. Watch. Pull by him. So grab him, and you can see my health go up. It's only very, very slightly, but I don't know if you can see that. You can see the bar move. So you literally feed off of things in order to get your health back, which is really, really cool. You don't get a whole lot of health from it, but I imagine you take whatever the creature had. And, you know, low-level things out in the open really don't have that much, so... Let's do a little more melee. Alright, let's check this cave out. Love how all these bubbles come off the squid. It's interesting looking. <laughs> oh my gosh, raptor claws. Oh, here comes your Christmas music. <laughs> wow, that looks awesome. Oh, what's this down here? There's like another way down here? Can I actually go down it? There's no way a Moser or Squid would fit through this. I'm really curious what this is. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys on the map. It's at a 4590, and it's right by him. Right there. <gasps> Interesting! This looks like those other underwater caves that I had marked. Seawater cave, point of interest. And they all have this interesting opening right here, like this. That's so cool looking. That's awesome. I don't want to, like, take a year to swim around here because I didn't bring flippers because I'm an idiot. I want to go get the artifact and see what I can. Yeah, I'm positive he's not going to fit through there. Sorry, guy. You're too big. Too much of a fatty patty, I think. Yeah. Uh, too much. I'll have to come in here with an icky sometime. Time to get out and explore the rest of the way. I really would like, um, like I, I really, really would like to go back and explore that hole some more. I'll have to come through on an icky, though. I bet one of the, uh, dossiers is in there. Ugh. Whoa. What? <laughs> Ark, your cave broke. It says I'm in the Wawa. Oh, uh, let's go this way first. Oh, yeah, it looks like there's a explorer note right here. Ow. Stab it. Hi, snail. A Rockwell's. Okay, so it's a Rockwell one. Um, go ahead and pause it for you if you want. Can you not? Can you not? Rude. So freaking rude, Rudy. Rudy Pants. I missed. I have bad aim. I'm really bad aim. <laughs> I think there can only be two per cave. I might be wrong on that, so don't take my word for it. That I mean, I could be completely wrong. You doing okay over there, little man? Looks like it. I thought maybe I saw Moses in the water, but no. <sighs> All right. Oh boy! Slowly killing things from a grappling hook. Isn't this magical? I'm not seeing any centipedes in here. Which is a good thing because I really hate having to repair my very expensive armor every single time one of them is in one of these. And I'm not on a dino. Even when I'm on a dino, sometimes it breaks, which is really irritating. Um. Okay. Hello, dung beetle. 
I just won't get in his way. All right, I'm ignoring those. Woohoo! Oh, there's a lot of bad things in the water. I want out. Get me out. This looks like a whole new area. Shit. Get me out. Oh my god! They can reach me. Has... Oh my god. It was right there. And I didn't even notice it. That is cool. Sweet. Wow, I didn't even notice that. I'm an idiot. Alright, let's see if we can find that artifact now. Alright guys. Uh, well, anyways. I went down that hole that I had seen earlier, and it turns out that that is where the artifact was. Um, it was just in a little bit. Unfortunately, my scuba tank just broke, so I've got to run. Because I'm, I'm going to be fucking dead if I don't get out of here. I've got to get out of here. Fuck, 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 fuck. I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, I'm cheating, guys. I'm infinite statting it. I ain't doing this bullshit. I couldn't do it. My fucking scuba tank broke. Because I forgot to dismount- or er, not dismount. I forgot to take it off while I was fighting things, so it got broken from all the bullshit that I had to swim through. Um, so unfortunately this is not one I was able to do legit because I spent way too much time looking around and not being careful about what attacked me while my scuba tank was still on. So what I needed to do is I needed to put it on, get my oxygen up, take it off, so that way my flak was taking damage instead because I've got high oxygen so it's actually a good thing I fucked up because now you know how not to fuck up so it should actually help you guys um I hate anglers I mean they look cool but they're just fucking annoying because they like come up bite you and then run away as soon as you start poking them back so um anyways yeah that's that's all the caves and Naga is almost dead I gotta get him out of here and I gotta get back to my base and get my shit repaired and that way I can take my Take infinite stats off. I had to do it, guys. I'm sorry. I did not want to die. <laughs> but, um, anyways, I'm going to get back to base. And I'm going to try and grab my Icky. And I'm going to see if I can show you just how much damage the jellyfish do to the dinos when they get stuck in them. So, I will BRB. Alright, guys. Uh, let me set time of day so you can see my game of down there we go so i'm back everything has been replenished and repaired minus my long neck rifle i'll have to do that later i forgot about that um <laughs> but i'm gonna see real quick if i can show you the last thing with jellyfish really want to show um oh here we go test dummy yeah, okay. i really just want to show you what happens when your dino touches them so we're gonna go find one let's just go into speed I'm going to be after this. Is it not? There we go. Ah! Oh boy. All oh manner of shit. Okay. See it? It just gets stuck in there and just gets like the TV again. And then it gets eaten. Oh my god. Oh, look at all that shit. Look at this mess. <laughs> Now hold on, let me get near the squid. This is a good way to test this. There's no way this is a passive. There's no way. I was like a mile away from him. And he aggroed, and you can't feed him like this. There, there's something up with the squid. There's gotta be a lot of misinformation out there. Oh, look at this mouth thing. Woo wee, all right. Back inside our safe, cozy, warm home, which somehow I was getting into while I did leave the windows open. Probably not smart. Probably not a, a, a smart thing to do, you know, in a, in a winter biome. Anyways. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I, I do apologize that I had to cheat there in the end. I do feel bad for that. Um, but a lot of my stuff, like my ascended stuff, I don't actually have the blueprints for them. I just was lucky enough to find them, so I don't want to risk losing it. So, you know... Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. Sometimes you just gotta cheat so you don't lose some. No, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I'm sorry about that, but 
I will I will be getting back to like Darksiders and Apes Odyssey and stuff because you know I needed a break from WoW and getting on this tonight was such a refresher because that game is just such a grind fest um, the content really isn't very good this expansion pack you know I'm forced to PvE to get anywhere even though I absolutely hate it um, and Blizzard basically did everything we told them not to so um, <laughs> I am a little salty at them about it but it is their game they've got to make their decisions and it's my choice as a consumer whether I continue to play it or not um, but I mean I still like the game but I needed to get I needed a break you know I needed to get away from it so but yeah that's gonna be it hope you guys liked it thanks for all your support I mean just truly honestly thank you for your support guys like it means a lot to me a lot of you are wonderful I love a lot of you guys' comments you're just great like you're you're just awesome to have around it's a privilege to be able to make videos for you and I love I love it like it's it's fun you, you guys motivate me. You make me want to do. You make it fun, you know. And plus, you know, I like playing the games anyways. Might as well might as well share my experiences with other people while I'm, you know, playing it and enjoying the game anyways. So, but yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Take care. Hope you guys have a Merry Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever your, you know, holiday beliefs are. And um, I will catch you folks in the next one.